hepatitis B and C natural treatment. In the United States alone over 4.7 million people are living with hepatitis and more than 350 million people worldwide. Hepatitis B and C are extremely serious liver disorder. Hepatitis is caused by a viral infection, it damages the liver and greatly increases the risk of liver failure as well as cancer. The best way to strengthen the body against hepatitis may be with liver protecting herbs. Along with nutritional therapies, herbal treatments can help the body recover from this dangerous viral assault. If you have been diagnosed or think you have hepatitis, seek help. How to effectively manage hepatitis from home. 1. Eat tiger nuts regularly. Eating tiger nuts regularly will be a big help because the tiger nuts milk is overly rich in fiber, antioxidative and toxin eliminating properties. According to a study on tiger nuts milk usefulness, it was established that the milk is very effective for the prevention of hepatotoxicity and acetaminophen induced liver injury. 2. Milk thistle rebuilds damaged cells. Milk thistle is a herb that contains a group of chemicals called silymerin which stimulates the synthesis of protein in the liver cells and actually helps the liver regenerate itself. The standard recommendation is taking two 150 mg tablets of milk thistle extract, standardized to contain about 75% silymerin three times a day. 3. Herbs that kills the virus and build immunity. Another option is to take a multi-herb supplement. Use one with a standardized silymarin extract of 10 to 50% that's is blended with other liver protecting herbs such as artichoke leaf, ginger, gentian, and turmeric. Simply follow the recommendations on the label. Other herbs protecting the liver from hepatitis B or C include shiitake mushrooms, lemon balm, schizandra, garlic, and St. John's wort. 4. The Anti-Hepatitis B and C Diet. A blend of natural methods and nutritional supplement along with body strengthening diet can help you remain symptom free and healthy. A healthy diet is essential for people living with hepatitis B and C because it is the liver's job to filter and detoxify the potentially harmful substances in your body. The goal is to avoid tasking your liver with foods that stress the liver. Avoid animal products especially red meats, which are packed with antibiotics, growth hormones and steroids. Meat complicates the digestive process, stressing the liver, gallbladder and pancreas. Avoid dairy food and alcohol which is notorious for its harmful effects on the liver. It is important to also kick aside caffeine which stimulates and stresses the liver. Avoid drinking water directly from the tap which often contains fluoride, chlorine and inorganic compounds that stresses the liver, only take distilled water. Stay away from burger made with beef and junk food. Also. Stay away from fruit juices which are high in concentrated sugar and artificial sweeteners. Sugar stresses the digestive process and pancreas, it's a shock to the liver and may feed the hepatitis B and C virus. Indulge yourself in easy to process and digest sources of protein like organic chicken and turkey, fish, well-cooked beans and soy products. Other healthy choices of food include mung beans, lentils, odzuki navy, chickpeas, pinto and plenty of whole grains which are loaded with liver strengthening vitamin B vegetables and squash too are highly recommended because they are packed with nutrients and the easiest to digest, eat the vegetables lightly steamed. 5. Sleep. The above will improve the overall health and performance of your liver. But without the necessary amount of sleep, it may be futile therefore, make sure you get a daily minimum of 8 hours required sleep. Sleep deprivation may ordinarily damage your liver without hepatitis because when you don't sleep your liver is unable to process fats thus accumulating it. Thank you for watching this video, if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave us a like, share with your family and friends to live a healthy life and please subscribe to the channel it cost you nothing but it means everything to us.